What's going on guys, Seth here from Team Union Seth, back as your coach of the Westside Weaviles for our semi-final match against the Camden Crocodiles. So if you guys have, didn't, have not checked out the Team Builder, make sure to check that out and see why we are bringing what we're bringing. Uh, but it looks like he has brought to the match Keldeo, uh, he brought the Hoopa, he brought the Mega Pidgeot, He brought the Zera Aura. He brought the Mamoswine. And he brought the Smeargle. So he's definitely going to want to lead with that Smeargle and get up his hazards. I know he wants to do that. I know he likes to do that. Um, he brought an interesting team. He actually brought uh, a little bit of different stuff than he did last time. No Latios, which is actually pretty cool to see. Um, Trick Room does really good against this team. Slowbro does really good against this team in general. Uh, if I can get rid of the Zera Aura and the Hoopa, I should have a good time with the Slowbro. And Terrakion also does number to his team. There's no, uh, no Buzzwool. No Buzzwool. So we're chilling with that. Uh, I can get a Rock Polish up with Terrakion and do really well against against his team. So let's see. Uh, he brings Smeargle. What do I want to lead with? I'm gonna lead with. I'm gonna lead with Black Panther. There's the Smeargle. I'm just gonna fake out. I'm just gonna fake out. Uh, break this sash, and then potentially just U-turn out, so he only gets one layers, one layer of hazards up. Um, so let's see what he wants to do here. So I do. I'm just gonna go for the fake out. See what he wants to go for. So we do a decent chunk of damage. Uh, let me actually calculate how much a knockoff is gonna do based off of that damage. So let's see. Incineroar to a Let's just say, you know, normal lead, smear goal, whatever. Fake out, 23 to 27, so that's about right. Knock off. Knock off kills him. So, he, I mean, he could definitely be fast than me, but that's only one layer up. So I'm going to get you over knock off. He spores. Okay. So he spores. So he can only spore one Mon. He can only spore one Mon because of the Sleep Claws, obviously. Um... So, I mean, I don't necessarily need this thing awake. I mean, it's gotten one turn of sleep already. Uh, so I could switch into something. I could definitely switch into something. Um, so he can't spore anything else. Or I could just try to... Or I could just try to wake up. I think I'm actually just going to try to wake up and knock off. There's his rocks. So he gets two layers of hazards up. Oh, he gets for parting shot. Interesting. So if I wake up here, I knock something's item off. Unless he goes into the Pidgeot, which is fine. There's the Keldeo. Okay, so we've gone through all three turns of sleep, um, which is fine. I'm going to double in Division, the, uh, the Slowbro. Parting Shot's interesting. There's a sub. So I'm going to go for, uh, let's see, he has the Stealth Rock on. Stealth Rock and the Parting Shot on Smeargle. He's got Substitute on Keldeo. Uh, but I'm just going to Psychic. Actually, I could turn in some big damage if I just um, if I just Trick Room here. Uh, I'm just going to Psychic right off the bat. He goes for HP Electric. I can Psychic and get rid of that. And I'm going to double. I, I want to switch out. Uh, let's switch out into... So another one kills me, but that's fine. I can get my regenerator up. So I switch out. What do I go into? I'll just go into the uh, aromatisse. So I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous here. Um, HP electric. I'm a little nervous here to see what what's gonna happen. Um, you know, I like the team. I think it's cool. I think it's very niche. Uh, there's another sub. So, he doesn't have lefties, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to go for a Wish. There's a Surf. We eat that. So, go over the Wish. I get some lefties recovery. And I'm going to go for a Moonblast. Now, I don't want to re reveal Trick Room too early. Definitely don't want to reveal Trick Room too early. So, I am just going to kind of chill here with my Wishes and with my Moonblast. So, I'm going to go for another Wish. So, this way, anything I want to switch in can come in. 
basically for free unless it, you know, unless I make a bad switch or something like that. So if he wants to sub again, that's fine. He'll lose more health. Um, and if he wants to switch, that's also fine. What would he switch into? He'd probably switch into, like, I don't even know. I mean, Aromatista is really good against his team. There's the Mamo. So who's my switch in here? My switch in is easily Slowbro. Slowbro every time. I mean, I don't. I have max HP, but I don't have any def defense investment. But Slowbro's got enough d enough defense that can tank a hit. Um, so yeah, I can definitely. I mean, it's at what, it's like 73%? I think after the regenerator, uh, I can definitely tank one hit no matter what. I'll get the wish back. There's the Hoopa. So I go into Slowbro. I get the wish back up, um, and, I, and now I just double into my Black Panther, my Incineroar. There's a Shadow Ball, it does absolutely nothing, and now I'm free to just U-turn out. I am guaranteed to wake up this turn because I have slept for three turns. So here's the U-turn, and what could I bring in here? What do I want to bring in here? Uh, I would definitely want to bring in something faster, and I don't want anything to really take rocks damage. So I could bring in the Landorus. I could bring in the Landorus. Uh, how much is a U-turn from Lando doing? Like he could be, well no, he can't be Scarf. We already saw that he's not Scarf because he went he changed up his moves. So, let's see. How much is a U-turn doing this move? Well, U-turn, U-turn kills him. So I'm just gonna go out into, uh, I mean he could outspeed me if he's max speed. That's another thing. I don't want Landorus to get Spore, that's the thing. So let's see, what what do we have that outspeeds him? I mean, I have to rack. I have to rack and I have Kiram. I'm actually just going to go into... I'm going to go into Kiram. I don't think he has really wants to take an Ice Beam. So that's what we're going to go for. We're going to go for the Ice Beam. We see that Hoopa had Shadow Ball. Yeah, nothing he has really wants to take an Ice Beam from this thing. I do take the Rocks damage, which kind of sucks. But, okay, there's the Ice Beam. So Kiram gets a kill. Kiram kills the Smeargle. Here comes the Mamo. How much are we doing here? So, I'm pretty sure this thing is Scarfed. Again, pretty sure this thing is Scarfed. But we do outspeed. We do outspeed the Scarf Mamo. So let's just say he's Adamant Scarf. It's fine. We outspeed the Scarf Mamo no matter what because we are Scarf. Ice Beam does not do enough. Draco would actually kill him here. So I'm just going to go into Vision, into my Slowbro, and see what he wants to do. If he wants to double into... Hoopa, that's fine. Um, I can just go back into the Incineroar. Goes for the EQ. Does a decent amount of damage. How much are we doing? Uh, I mean, the Hoopa's not going to take a whole lot of damage from... It's not going to take a whole lot of damage from this thing. Definitely not going to take a whole lot of damage from this thing. Because like, I'm thinking I could Trick Room here and see what he wants to do. And really see what he wants to do. Um... Yeah, we're not doing a whole lot, and I don't really want to Mega Evolve just yet, so I'm going to, I'm just going to Scald. Here's an EQ, we fire off a Scald, does a decent amount of damage, and we get the Burn, and now I'm very free, so let's see how much a Burned, a Burnt Mamo is doing to Aromatisse. Burnt Mamo, physical attacker, does that have Life Orb, it doesn't, what does everything have Life Orb? Uh, his life orb ammo is just too good. So if he's burnt, if he's burnt, uh, it's doing nothing. So I can just, I can just wish. That's totally fine. He goes with the EQ. He does 20%, and I can just, fr I am free, free to just wish up. Here's an Iron Head, uh, and I get my wish up. So we know that he's not scarfed. We see that he's not scarfed. We see that he's not Scarf and he has the Iron Head, um, and it really does nothing. So that's why I didn't want to switch into this thing originally, because it would take a lot anyway. Um, Iron Head only did 20%, so that's fine. I could get up my Trick Room here, but I think I'm just going to Moonblast. Um, I think I'm just going to Moonblast. I don't think it's going to kill him. I don't think it's going to kill him. Um, which is actually good. Like, I could potentially wish and switch into something else, like maybe the Incineroar or the Kirim. Um, but I can definitely take advantage of this Burnt Mamo. His, uh, Moonblast does kill him. But that's fine. I mean, unless he's got some bulk, but I doubt it. But that's fine. Um, I don't want to protect, because if he switches out, I don't want him to just get a free switch. So I want to get some chip on something. I don't really see him saving the Mamo, though, but you never really know. 
he could. He could save it as death fodder. He could, you know, he could want to bring it in later for some reason. I'm not sure. But um, I think he can still have an earthquake for Lando, so it could potentially Icicle crash that. So what item? I'm curious to see what item he is. I'm curious to see what item he is. Uh, how much? Let me actually calc that damage from Slowbro. Like, I doubt he's a salt vest, but it couldn't hurt to calc it. Yeah, Scald should have done a lot more, so I, I guess he is a salt vest. So if he's AV. Because it only did, what, 40%? There's the Pidgeot. And we get off our Moonblast, which does half. Wow. Does half. So let's see Mega Pidgeot versus Aromatisse. Let's see how much we're thinking here. How much are we thinking? Uh, Hurricane does about half. Uh, but I can wish up and then I can double into my Incineroar. Let's see how much Incineroar is taking. Incineroar doesn't really take much. So I'm, t I, I'm just going to do just that. I'm going to wish up. He goes for the Roost. Good play on his part. So I could easily Trick Room. But I am just going to go into Black Panther. He goes for the Hurricane. We eat it. And we get our wish back. So we see he's got the Roos. And he has the Hurricane. So this is a tricky one. Because... Well, how, let's see how much Thunder Punch is doing to Hoopa. Well, how much... It's doing 50% to the Pidgeot. And it's doing 30 to 36. So I could fake out here or I could U-turn. I don't think he's going to want to stay in. Uh, but even so, I can go out in my Scarf Kirim. So I'm just going to U-turn. There's another Hurricane. That's fine. Uh, so I go for the U-turn. And... Huh. Do I want my rocks up? Not really. It doesn't really matter much. How much are Ice Beams doing to the Hoopa? How much are Ice Beams doing to the Hoopa? Ice Beam... Has a... Can to a KO, but it's really... Really not a good chance. Um... Yeah, I'll just go into Kiram. That's fine. Um, and I can just Ice Beam. I mean, he's not going to want to take two. Like, you know, he's not going to want to take two. So there's the Mamo. Uh, we can we can two KO this thing. Actually, not really. Jesus. Yeah, this thing is AV as hell. Huh. So let's see. I'm going to go back into Aromatisse. And uh, I might actually just potentially switch back into Kiram just to get its to get the wish up. Well, let's see what I want to do here. So, Lando, no, it's either Slowbro or Romatisse. I'd kind of rather get up my Regenerator with Slowbro. So I'm gonna switch out into Slowbro. Take the Icicle Crash. Um, I could use this opportunity to get up my Trick Room and Scald. I could use this opportunity to get in my Trick Room and Scald. Or I could just Scald. I think Trick Room is going to be more, more beneficial in the long run. So here comes the Ice... Uh, I mean, he's probably going to just Earthquake or something like that. So... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough match. It's a tough matchup. Uh, burning the Mamo definitely helped. Burning the Mamo really, really helped. So I am just gonna go for my Trick Room, and I can Scald here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna Mega Evolve just yet. Like I really don't wanna Mega Evolve just yet because, um, you know, I want, I want the Regenerator. So I should, I think I should have probably run more, a little bit more defense in this, but it didn't really make a whole lot of difference. So we get the Scald kill on the Mamo with the Slowbro, and anything he wants to switch in is gonna be slower than this thing. So. I can get a lot of damage on Zero Aura, I can probably kill the Pidgeot, and I can kill the Keldeo. Which means he's only is you know, he's left to bring in the Hoopa. And we'll have to see how much that thing does to the Aromatisse. I might just end up sacking Incineroar because Kiram does beat the Pidgeot now, uh, and it beats a lot of his team. There's the Hoopa. So, let's see. This thing outslows a lot of my team, but not all of it. Um, so let's see. Slowbro. Let's see how much Slowbro is doing to Hoopa. 
Uh, it's not doing much. If I Mega Evolve, it's doing a little bit more, but not much more. I think it's worth it just to switch out and kind of sack off the Incineroar. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's sack off the Incineroar. And I kind of want to get up my rocks up at this point. I kind of want to get up my rocks, my rocks at this point. So, yeah, we'll sack off the Incineroar. It might not even die from this thing. Honestly, it might not even die from... If he, if he Shadow Balls, the Incineroar might not die. Because I'm going to lose 25 from rocks. Uh, which would leave me at about 8%. Let's see how much the Shadow Ball did earlier. How much did that Shadow Ball? It did 11, so yeah, it's going to kill. 9%, Focus Blast, that's fine. So we see he's got the Focus Blast. Um, not really sure why he went for that. Could have expect he could have expected me to switch out into like Kiram or something, something to that nature. So I'm gonna bring in Lando because I know it can live, it can live whatever. And I do think this thing is scarfed. But either way, uh, I'm just gonna rock. He wants to bring in Keldeo. He can bring in Keldeo. I can go into Slowbro and then double out to Aromatis. Uh, there's a Pidgeot. Can I live a Hurricane? Oh, let's see if I can live a hurricane. This is gonna be interesting. I think I can, cause like I'm max HP. And Pidgeot. No, not regular Pidgeot. We need Mega Pidgeot. There's the Mega Pidgeot, and we do live a hurricane pretty easily. Rock Slide doesn't do as much as I'd hoped, so I am actually just going to double. How much is Aroma T taking from this hurricane? Uh, Aromatis, Aromatis takes a decent amount, but not enough to 2 KO. I mean, with the rocks, it's in it's interesting, but I have Protect. Um, ah, that's not good. Okay, so we need to not... Yeah, we need to not get confused here. So I'm just going to Protect, and we get hit in Confusion. He knocks us out with a Hurricane. That's lovely. That does give me the opportunity to go into Kiram and Ice Beam. Um... Gives me the opportunity to go into Kiram and Ice Beam. Gives me the opportunity to go into Kiram and Ice Beam. But, um... Yeah, no, I can't, because Aerial Ace... Uh, like, a plus... Is a plus two Aerial Ace killing Hoopa? I feel like it has a shot. I feel like it has a shot. Plus two Aerial Ace? Oh, it doesn't... Well... Has he taken damage? Have he ta has he taken rocks damage? No, he hasn't taken any damage. So no, it doesn't kill the Hoopa. Ah, oh, it's so unfortunate. I don't run out speed anyway, so it's yeah, that's kind of pointless. But um, let's make a Slowbro live. Make a Slowbro. Boom. Into the Pidgeot. Hurricane does 56 to 66, and I'm at 51, so no. So I have to go into Kiram. Or I go into Lando and hope that Zero or, can, or that hope that Kiram can come in and sweep later. What can Terrakion even set up on at this point? It sets up on Keldeo. That's about it. Yeah, it sets up on Keldeo. Um hmm. Yeah, I have to go into Hoopa. Or Kiram, whatever this thing's called. So Ice Beam or Draco, either one takes it. Either one should take it out. Either one should take it out. Yeah, both of them take it out. Um, so I'm just gonna fire off and nuke him with a Draco. <sighs> so yeah, so basically, like, I mean, if he brings in Hoopa, it's not gonna die. It is gonna. No, it's not gonna die. It's not gonna die. But let's see it. A Draco twice. Draco twice kills after rocks. So that's fine, honestly. I can kill the Hoopa, I can get rid of that thing. I really, like, I could sack something off and then go on a Terrakion to set up on the Keldeo. So, there's the Keldeo. Okay, so we get rid of this thing. Not that this was too much of a threat, but, eh. So, yeah, this hoop is really scary at this point. This hoop is really scary. 
How much are we doing? How much is a, a minus two Draco doing to make a Pidgeot? How much is a minus two Draco doing to make a Pidgeot? 45 to 54. Is that enough for me to feel comfortable? Is that enough for me to feel comfortable? Terrakion. Terrakion lives a hurricane. I could, well, no, because then I wouldn't outspeed. So the thing is, yeah, I could rock polish. That's interesting. Because then Zeraora is not really a threat. And let's see. I mean, if he's Scar, like, if he's Scarf Hoopa, then I'm kind of screwed. So, do I get the damage off? I think I do. Um, no, not necessarily. Do I need Slowbro? Slowbro doesn't really do anything in this matchup anymore. I'm gonna sack the Slowbro. I'm gonna sack Slowbro. And uh, that allows me to bring in the. Let me actually just calc Modest real quick. Modest does 68 to 81. That doesn't kill me either. So you'd have to get a crit or a confusion or something. So I'm gonna go into Thanos and Rock Polish. Close combat easily kills him. <sighs> so, um, yeah, I, I'm nervous at this point. We're coming down to the end game. Um, you know, Draco is going to do a lot to the Hoopa. Draco's going to do a lot to the Hoopa, and Landers can easily handle Zara Aura. But I'm worried about the Landers handling the Hoopa. Like, if the Hoopa's Scarf, that's probably best case scenario. Because, like, you know, HP Ice, if it HP Ice, I have Yachi on Lando, and then I can come in with Kiram or. Or whatever. So it has to lock itself into something, and that's I can kind of play around that. So sacking off the slow bro. Terrakion comes in. We go for rock polish. We can close combat. We do outspeed the Zera Aura. How much are we doing to it though? I think that's the thing. We have a good chance to kill after rocks. Actually, if it's if it doesn't have any bulk investment, we have a good chance to kill after rocks. But either way, I don't really need this thing once this Pidgeot's gone. And if I... If he switches into Hoopa here, I'm pretty screwed. But you know, like, I could Stone Edge because of the No Guard. So... Um... Because the no yeah, because of the no guard, he knows I can stone edge, so that's probably the likely move. So he wouldn't go into Hoopa. He might think I'm scarfed. Oh my god, he went into Hoopa. 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 Oh. I think that's game. I think that's game. I think that might be game. No, it's not game yet. It's not game yet. It's close, but it's not game yet. Um... Do I like SD and hope he overpredicts? Do I SD and hope he overpredicts? What? What is the? What is my best play here? I could go into Kiram, but that will basically just be sacking it off because of the rocks. If I go into Lando, I'm still taking a lot of damage. Does he two a KO with? Does he two a KO with Lando with a Psy Shock? Because I, I, I mean, he's probably going to run Psyshock over Psychic. That's usually what's run on Hoopa, I think. I think. Um, you know, let's see. Let's, let's go for both Psyshock and Psychic. Uh, I just, yeah, I kind of threw this game. Um...
I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. How much is there or uh so let's see if I take let's see fifty let's see fifty five percent. There or uh HP ice does thirty three too much. Yeah, so I have to hope he has Psy Shock. I have to hope you're well, because even no, even SD here doesn't make a difference. I'm gonna go for it. There's a psychic. Lander is to the Hoopa. I mean, it's not, it's not over. Do I get a high roll with Earthquake? We do a lot. Does Zero Aura, like, how much is Zero Aura taking from an Ice Beam? Oh, this is a tough one. How much is Zero Aura taking from an Ice Beam? Doesn't take enough. It just doesn't take enough. I have to Earthquake here on his Psychic. Doesn't kill. That's GG. That's game. Unless for some reason Zero Aura takes a hundred million from Ice Beam. Unless Zero Aura takes a hundred million from Ice Beam. Yeah, I just, I prepped way too weird. I prepped so, like, weirdly uncomfortably. It was, uh, I mean, my prep freeze. My prep was rushed. My prep was rushed. And not good. <sighs> it's just disappointing. It's just disappointing. I don't I just don't, I don't know what to say. I feel like I played bad. I feel like I played badly. I prepped badly. <sighs> I didn't think of what I could set up on what I needed to set up on. I just I I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Um, let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Um, leave a like to make me feel better. This really sucks, man. Like I, <laughs> it, like my friend Sam just said it. I can't, just can't beat him in the playoffs again, which sucks. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.